Well, hello and welcome to this tutorial video of Wings 3D Portable Light. Uh, in this short tutorial, I will show you how to uh, set up Wings 3D to work well with Light. And um, the shortcut keys I use to navigate around my objects um, in an efficient way. Let's get started. When you install uh, Wings 3D for the first time, um, there are maybe uh, two preferences that you might want to change. Um, which are uh, in the general, uh, under the general option, there is a soft edges and hard edges color setup here. And uh, you might want to set them both to black. More on that later, but um, these are the two things um, I would do on the general preferences dialog box. Then we have uh, in the miscellaneous settings, uh, I will set up the undo levels to 120, which is the maximum that you can have in uh, Wix 3D. Uh, since in stock tree, uh, Wings 3D, it's only uh, up to 20, I think, um, so it might need more. Uh, the more undo levels, the better. So 120 is the maximum we can set. So that about covers the preferences. Um, now, uh, navigating around the uh, 3D object. Um, there's a number of shortcut keys, uh, a handful of shortcut keys that might be useful uh, to uh, navigate around your object and uh, sometimes get to places that are um, well hard to select uh, with the mouse. Uh, first thing um, is um, what I call the focus selection. Um, so let's say I can I can click on this, you know, and, and zoom in on and zoom in on the window, for example, of this uh, sidewinder, and I can see this pretty well. But let's say I wanted to. Uh, I want to see the, the, the front of the gun here. Right? With this setup right now, it's impossible. I could you know, use the, the keys, the, the left and right and top and bottom keys, and try to zoom in on it, but that's a waste of time. There's an easier way to do that. Um, so we deselect, by, deselect everything um, by using the spacebar. And now I'm going to hover my mouse about the part that I want to focus on and press the A key. There we go. And now I'm rotating around the object that I focus on. This will enable me to select the object, um, perform some uh, extra operations on that object, okay. or um, I could put a material on it. Uh, Uh, like this. There we go. The gun now has a different material than uh, the default. Uh, sideline that has. So that covers the focus. Okay. Let's undo those steps again. There we go. Okay. Um, the second thing you might want to uh, get into is uh, the selection method. All right. So you could, for example, uh, select this gun in, in a number of different ways. You could select all faces. Um, separately, or you can drag select the faces. But there's also another method which which um, makes sure that you select all of the faces, even those that are not visible. Okay, That is by selecting the, uh, the outer edge, uh, the outer, well, outer face, I'm sorry, and by pressing the F key. One time, two times, three times, you know, uh, as much as needed. To uh, select the whole object. This might come in handy later uh, if you want to uh, apply um, a material to, uh, for example, um, we have the gun here that would be suitable for that, but also the inside of the exhaust pipe here. So I could select 
each set a separate or keep the mouse down and just drag select it, but I wouldn't know if I would have everything. So let me unselect that again and do that properly. Click on the middle one and I press the F key numerous times. And now I'm sure that everything in between this face and the outer face here has been selected. Another important feature um, of Wings 3D is the, able, is the ability to, uh, to store a selection. So let's say um, I wanted to uh, store this selection without, without this, for example. Just store the inside of the uh, exhaust pipe. I would select the exhaust pipe. And then press select store selection. Now, if I um, deselect everything by pressing the spacebar key, I would not need to reselect everything with the F key. I could just do select recall selection. This will come in handy later uh, when you want to apply uh, materials to your object. Then you have the selection of the vertice mode, the um, edge mode, and the face mode. Sometimes you want to select faces, because you want to manipulate faces, for example, by moving them, or by scaling them. But sometimes it's easier um, to move uh, an edge or vertice. For example, if I wanted to uh, give a slight uh, inclination on this face up here, let me zoom in on that, pressing the A key. Um, if I wanted to incline that up a little bit, what I would do is actually select the edge here. Right click, select move in the Y direction. There you have it. Okay. So that would be uh, easier by selecting the edge select mode than the face select mode. Or let's say uh, I wanted to um, I wanted to cut up this face into uh, three uh, into three faces, make, uh, make three faces out of this one. Make sure that the edge that would run up from this vertice all the way down here would be um, parallel, parallel to this, parallel to the line, the general line of the ship. We will go about it this way. We select the edge we want to cut up. Now we'll cut it up into three parts. This will produce two vertices. Now you see, if I were to connect these two together, um, both lines are not parallel. How would I do that? I could select these two in vertice uh, selection mode, and now I could scale about the x-axis and the parallel. There we go. Um, this concludes uh, the tutorial on selecting uh, different parts on the, on the, on the 3D model. Thanks for watching.